we need to take a look at how we can uh, multiply and divide fractions and uh, also mixed numbers. Um, the first thing I'd like to do is, is uh, tell you what's different about multiplying and dividing fractions. And hopefully you'll remember this. If not, learn it. When we're adding fractions, we had to make sure that we had the common denominators, right? And so we were like, okay, we got to make both of them the same. We'd multiply this by three, and we'd multiply this by four. And and you remember uh, what it would take to get to this stage. And once we had common denominators, then we could just add the top, and then we always kept the bottom the same. And so we had all that work, and, and once you got used to it, it wasn't that bad, but, man, it was kind of time-consuming. Time but with multiplication and division, we do not care about the denominators being the same. Instead, all that we care about is, uh, you know, your math facts, really. Uh, what's 1 times 2? Two? 2. And what's 4 times 3? 12. We've multiplied straight across on the top, and we multiplied straight across on the bottom. Whatever you get is what you get, and then, as always, I shouldn't have to tell you, we make sure that we simplify the fractions, and we can divide both of these, in this instance, by 2. And so 1 sixth is our final answer. That's, that's all multiplication is. Um, for division, we have one little catch. Um, keep the front fraction the same. Change this to multiplication and then we need to flip this fraction always the second fraction always 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 you can't flip the front flip the second fraction upside down and so it's two seventh is the first fraction we change the division sign to multiplication you put the dot or the x there and flip the four ninth upside down so it's nine over four now guess what we do straight across. 2 times 9 is 18, and 7 times 4 is 28. And then at this point, you just divide. Uh, you know, you simplify the fraction. That's it. That's all you have to do. So for multiplication, you just multiply straight across top and bottom. Get your new top and bottom, your numerator, denominator, and simplify. Over here for division, keep the first fraction the same. Change the division symbol to multiplication and flip this one upside down, and you've made it into a multiplication problem. It's very similar to how we used to have to make a subtraction problem to an addition problem. It's very, very similar to that. Now, uh, what do you do when you have mixed numbers? Make them into an improper fraction. So 7 times 2... 14 and 14 plus 2 is 16 keep the same denominator 5 times 5 is 25 and 25 plus 3 is 28 keep the same denominator so I'll pull up my calculator and make it a little bit easier 16 times 28 is 448. So we go ahead and set that up. 7 times 5 is 35. So really it's very, very similar. And now we just have to simplify. In this case, sorry, that improper fraction is just not going to work. But we do have the calculator here, so let's do this. 448, and I'm going to hit the divide button. And let's divide it by 35. How many times does that go in? Well, I pay attention to what's in front of that decimal. It goes in 12 times. So let me go ahead and minimize this. If it'll let me. I know it'll go in 12 times. And so um, now I can also pull up my calculator. If it'll let me here. And um, what I've got to do is get rid of this ink right there on it. There we go. Um, let's hit clear. Um, 35 
times 12 would be 420. Well, 4, 448 minus 420 is 28. So I've got 28 left over. Let's minimize this. Over 35. I need to simplify, and I know both of these divide by 7. So it's 12 and 4 fifths is my final answer. I do the same thing over here. I'm going to take these mixed numbers, make them into improper fractions. So this will be 37 over 7 over divided by 13 over 6. Now, again, I keep the first fraction the same. I change the division sign to multiplication, and I flip this upside down. We'll go back to the calculator to make it a little bit easier for us. Thirty-seven times six is two hundred and twenty-two, a nice large number. And seven times thirteen leaves ninety-one. Yeah, there it is, ninety-one. Now, um, how many times does 91 go into 222? 222 divided by 91 is 2 times, so the whole number is going to be 2. I then know that 91 times 2 is going to be 182, so really I want to find out, well, how much is left over when I subtract 182 from it that way. I'll actually know what my numerator is, how many is left over. 40. So it'll be 40 over 91, because I keep the same denominator. And I cannot simplify that fraction, so we're good to go. I believe I've got two more options I want to show you here. Yeah, these are the last two that we've got to do. Um, what do I do when it's a whole number? Well, we make that whole number into a fraction by just putting a 1 under it. So it's 2 over 1 times, this is a mixed number, so we make it into a improper fraction. Multiply straight across, since it's multiplication, we don't have to flip anything. So this would be 102 over 5. And I know that 5 goes into 102 20 times, and we'd have 2 left over. Keep the same denominator. It's already simplified for you. The last one down here. We'll go ahead and make this into a improper fraction. Then we just have to let me extend it a little bit here. Keep the front number the same. Since this division, we'll change it to multiplication and flip the second fraction. That should be 207. Let me double check that. Okay. And how many times can it be uh, divided by 14? It'll go in 14 times. And I happen to know that 14 times 14 is 196, so that would mean there's 11 left over. And there's the answer. So uh, hopefully you will like multiplication and division uh, a lot better than the addition and subtraction. Just please remember we only flip that fraction, the second fraction, when we're dividing. I never flipped a fraction when we were just multiplying uh, already. Um, so if you can keep that straight and you still remember how to turn an improper uh, fraction into a mixed number, you're looking at a, a pretty easy lesson. If not, we need to practice.